Deke Edwards was a wrestler. In high school, he won 75 matches and lost two. He won two state championships in his weight class. Deke went to Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. There he won 46 of 51 matches. In his senior year, when he was captain, he lost just three of 27. He won the conference championship in his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons. Deke was inducted in the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame, National Wrestling Hall of Fame, the SIU Saluki Hall of Fame, among other honors. By the way, he taught math for over 30 years and coached wrestling for 47 years. What makes Deke Edwards' story more impressive, of course, and compelling is that Deke has been blind since he was 11 years old. He's been a mentor to hundreds of kids without sight, an incredible athlete, incredible man. We welcome Deke Edwards into the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Hello, Deke. Hi. It's Ron here. I've known this guy for all, so many years. At SIU Carbondale, there was a building called Old Main. I don't know if it's still there or not, but there was a steep steps going up to this thing. And I'm coming down the steps, and I noticed a guy next to me with a cane, and I realized, well, he didn't have any sight, so I gave him an arm. We walked down talking about things. We got to the bottom of the steps, and he said, by the way, I'm an athlete. I said, what? He said, I'm, a, I'm an athlete. I'm a wrestler. Well, I covered Deke all of his career at SIU because I was sports editor of the, of the student newspaper. This guy was phenomenal. Deke, welcome to St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Thank you. Now, I know the story about how you were blind. Yes. Explain it. What what you say? I said, I know the story about what, why you're blind. Mm -hmm. Explain what happened. Well, when I was, uh, you know, I grew up on a farm, and on a farm, you kids kind of mature early, and you learn, everybody has, every farmer has a gun. Has a gun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I used to hunt, and I, you know, I enjoyed it. I, I would kill a few squirrels and things like that, but uh, I had a younger brother. He was nine, and uh, they wouldn't let him hunt. <laughs> he wasn't old enough, but one day, uh, I took him with me hunting, and you know, uh, we uh, were, you know, out in the, about a half mile from our house, and uh, I see a dead frog, and it's the 19th of November, and I think, good grief, that's a late uh, time in the year, you know, for a frog to be around. So, And my son, brother sat down on a, at the edge of this, this big ditch, and I walked down, jumped down, and walked in front of him, and a darn gun went off. And luckily, it just, I just lost my sight. And, uh, and fortunately, at that time, the we didn't have we we did have the we had the Missouri School for the Blind, and I, after I got out of the hospital, I went into the school at. I was a sixth grader, and and uh, I finished school there. And we had, they just started wrestling. And Mr. Al Eberhardt, who was really a nice guy, he was Dr. Walter Eberhardt's brother, he had just started the program. And uh, I, I wasn't really that much in it because all I wanted to do was play baseball, you know. I, Pretty I, tough to do if you can't see, you yeah. know. Yeah. I thought I was going to be a, a major leaguer. I was a Cardinal fan. I was going to play shortstop like Marty Marion, <laughs> switch hit like Red Shane Dees, hit like Stan Musil, and run the bases like Enos Sloan. <laughs> and I, and I, I've often thought, if I could have done all that, nobody would remember. Well, let's talk about the wrestling. <laughs> you got into it, and... Yeah. Uh, Explain how, how it works, and I, I've seen you wrestle, so I know, but when you get on the mat, how do you make contact with, well, you, with your opponent? When, when I wrestled, we started uh, 10 feet apart on our feet, and that's the only time I had any disadvantage. 
And uh, we would, what they did, my coaches and Lee Grubbs, who's from St. Louis, we worked out a system where the coach would constantly be telling me where the guy was in front of me. And I stood a, with a little different stance, my hands a little lower, and uh, uh, they would say, 12 o'clock, of course, the guy was right in front of me. 11 o'clock, he was to the left right. a little bit. 1 o'clock to the right. And I'd turn to keep him. He'd have to attack me from the front. Now, if he got around the 3, it was a little late, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, and it, uh, it worked out. Of course, the guys on other guys that are wrestle, uh, they uh, they tried to, all kinds of tricks, but my teammates had already thought of these ahead of time, and we'd worked on them in practice. Uh, you know, you wrestle a blind guy, you don't want to lose to a blind guy. I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, so uh, the uh, it it worked out, and I would say so. Yeah, I did have several injuries in college that kind of kept me on the bench a little bit, but uh, it was a great experience. And, you know, I still still have friends that are great wrestlers, were great wrestlers, I imagine they're too tough. All right, now you taught math at the Missouri School of Blind yes. for, how, did, how in the world did you do that? Well, uh, I, well, I had, uh, I had a great wife. Keep, keep your <laughs> mic a little closer. We had, a, I had a great wife, she, uh, so she helped my, me. So did a lot of us, but mine doesn't know anything <laughs> about math. <laughs> well, uh, we, I had both print kids and kids that read Braille, so I had to prepare stuff in Braille. And my wife would do all the preparing a test and right. grading test and print. She was something else. And uh, that, uh, and I could, for the partially sighted kids, I could write on the board. You know, I could still remember to write how to write, and I've worked problems on the board for them, and, and a lot of oral, a lot yeah. of it was oral, of course. Well, Deke, we're going to have to move on, but it's been a pleasure knowing you and covering you and seeing you all these years, and we're so proud of what you've done. When you consider the fact you taught math for 30 years, coach wrestling for 47 years at Missouri School for the Blind. So congratulations and welcome to the St. Louis Sports Hall of Fame. Thank <laughs> you.